Hey, this is Pastor Aaron, and this is your midweek encouragement. Today, I want to talk to you about living undefeated. Did you know that as a believer in Jesus Christ, you can live undefeated? I want to read to you a scripture today out of Romans chapter 8. We're going to read verse 31. The Bible says this, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Who do you feel is against you right now? Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a circumstance. Maybe it's a sickness. Maybe it's a financial burden, a challenge, a relationship drama. What are the things that you feel are against you? Now, I want to encourage you through this scripture because when Paul wrote these words, he was trying to teach us something by faith that no matter what is happening in your life, you are destined to be victorious when Jesus is reigning in your life. The biggest challenge we have as people and as believers is allowing the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of Jesus to lead and dwell and reign in our life. We like to be in charge of our lives, don't we? We like to take action into our own hands, take matters into our own hands, attempt to fix everything, right? But the Lord teaches us through his word that through his grace, which comes through our humility, we can find victory as we release into his hands and find our warfare on our knees through prayer. Your prayer life is something that is so powerful, something ordained by God himself in heaven as a communication tool of relationship with Abba Father. When you are in prayer with the Lord, you are gaining favor with the Lord. This is why Paul writes, if God is for us, who can be against us? How do you get God for you? It's really simple. You just receive his grace and you surrender to him. His love, grace, and mercy then leads your life. Now I wanna encourage you because no matter what you're going through, you may not see the answer right now, but God has an answer. He has a miracle for you. He has a way out when you don't see any way out. That is the miraculous, powerful God that we serve. But it takes us, people, surrendering the flesh and saying, Lord, I actually trust you in this situation and know by faith you are going to take care of this. And then through prayer, remember that warfare on your knees I talked about, you unlock the gates of heaven in your life and the still small voice of the Lord can speak to you, talk in your ear, and tell you what to do and how to handle things. Now the amazing part is all you have to do is respond in obedience and God's gonna do the rest. I tell you what, it's amazing having a walk of faith. So I wanna encourage you today, if God is for you, who can be against you? No matter what you're going through right now, I wanna tell you, surrender it to the Lord. Watch his miraculous hand come into your life and bless you and take control and do things that you never thought possible because it really isn't possible without him. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for every man and woman watching this video, no matter where they are in the earth. Bless them, Lord, and encourage them right now, no matter what they're going through, you are for them. And because of that, no enemy, no power of hell can come against that and have victory. So even in the fight, we are destined to have total victory in Jesus' name. I pray this now. Amen. Hey, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And I encourage you, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to YouTube, follow us on social media. And if you're ever in the Denver area, we invite you to come join us for church right here at Expect Hope. God bless you.